All right, so now we are going to include an intruder alert, security alert. What do we want that in the night time, let's say after 11 in the evening till morning 5, if somebody is there near the room or if this motion detector detects anything, it will turn on the alarm, alarm which is outside this home and we'll be using a remote control to turn off the siren, so turn off the alarm. So to see the alarm, let me go to the daytime and let me show you where is that alarm. This was at the start of the gate. At near the near the garage, there was an alarm. If you have noticed, let me show you. It's just at the entrance because this is just to alert that somebody was there at night, which you know it's very an awkward situation as well. So I'm going to actuate the alarm which is over here. That's my siren. This is activated. Okay. Now let me go back to my place. I'm almost there. All right. So we have to make a program based on real time, just like we did initially for the gate garage door. So I'm going to use a logic, the old logic, and I'm going to customize that. So oh, that was somewhere here, and this was a logic for for analog pool light based on time. So I will use the upper logic, which was the real time. So let me remove this one. Yeah. Now this was the logic for the time, the time after 11 and before, before 5, before 5, it means 11 to 4. So this bit will be on between 11 to 4. Okay, let's take this time only, 11 to 4. Now we have here, we don't use, we don't need light, we need a motion detector. Okay, then you need a siren. And let's say between this time, light should not get on automatically only the siren will be on between 11 to 4 and besides that time light should be on okay in this time from 11 to 4 only siren will be on so this is the real time bit let's take it here so if the real time bit is on and then you have a motion detector so i'll take an AND gate here because the, these two situation really make sense this will latch the siren okay we need an sr block to latch the siren that we can get from here this is the SR block which will latch the siren now to unlatch the siren we need to use the remote control so I'm going to take this remote control from here let's take the one one button to unlatch the siren so remote control one will be here and that will be used to reset this block this will reset the siren okay so let me adjust the size optimize the diagram Okay. Now if this bit is off, then what do you want? You want this light to be controlled by motion detector. Okay, same logic. So I'm going to take this bit again over here. If this is off means I need an odd operation. Uh, if this is off, I'll take an odd operation. This will make my logic pretty simple. And I'll take an AND gate, put it here, and we have to use motion detector same because we have two cases when this is on so I'm not using an AND gate here not gate here if this is not on so I'm using this motion detector same to turn on the light okay so I'll use the set reset lock again and I will take the light from here light entrance so turn on the light Okay. Okay. Let's just let's just have this light connectly directly connected to motion detector. I'm not taking the time signal because this is just to understand the time based, real time based control. Or you can use a time delay as well, just we did in the last video. So now that logic makes sense. Between 11 to 5. After 11, I mean after 10, it's 11. 11 to 4. Between 11 to 4, this bit will be on. And if this bit is on. This is going to work with motion detector to turn the siren. If this bit is off, you can see this is off right now. So this is 
on this is not operation so this is false and this is true now it's the daytime that's why it's off now this motion detector will only turn on the light so I'm here this will work as to turn on the light only the light is on and after five seconds this will be off okay now if I do the same motion detection after 11 so let's move the time to 1123 now the same motion instead of turning on the light will turn on a siren that's the intelligence you know intuitive doesn't know that but you are doing some kind of logic now it's after 11 and if you see this bit is on if this is on this light will not work this block will work a motion detector will give a signal from here this is and this will be true it will set the siren have a look you see can you hear the siren voice this is coming from outside the building it's coming from if you want to see there I can go there and show you the real siren voice it's coming from here let's see siren to turn off the siren I can use this button because I know that this is a turn off the siren so even because this button is generally with the building owner to turn off the siren in case to take a demo again siren will be on and I can use this switch to turn off the siren okay but if you move to daytime after 4 this was up to 5 so yeah let's move here now let me show you parallelly how this is working this is the block now this bit will be off at 5 you'll find here this bit is off now okay so when this bit is off this will work as light so this will work okay I just want to show you parallel execution now if I go again at 11 after 11 you'll find this bit will on which will make this condition false and this condition will be true here all right So at 23 now this is on now if I move you'll find alarm will be set this is set because I moved now when I stay there and I press the one this will be true this will reset the siren so this is about security alert outside your room using this connect higher functions and your motion detector and remote control I hope this really give you good interest in learning making symbols making logics in connectile thank you